for. So first off, Happy New Year! I hope that reading in 2018 was a whole lot of fun, whatever you decided to do. And I'm really looking forward to this year. I mean, I've got a couple of personal goals and ambitions, but also here on the channel, excited for a few new things that I'm going to try and hopefully you come along for the ride, so please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Now, to get into this week's DIY, uh, it was really fun to put together, love how it turned out in my bathroom, and uh, I tested out a new product that I've been meaning to try for quite some time. So I'm gonna give you kind of the review on what I thought of the product at the end of the video, so let's get into the DIY. So I found that mirrored decor piece at the thrift store. You could use a piece of glass as well. You will need some frosted glass spray paint, an X-Acto knife, and then something for a stencil. Those are just stickers I picked up at the dollar store. So clean off your surface first, and then you can begin spelling out whatever you're saying is. I'm using these as stencils. If you have a vinyl cutter, it'd be great, because then you could pick your own font. But lay them down, lay them nice and flat, and uh, this, package actually only came with one letter of each so I ended up having to make my own E but it works and uh, like I said make sure you press that sticker down nice and tight around all of the edges so it's a clean edge clean off your surface again and uh, tape off any other edges that you might not want to get paint on that frosted grass there uh, this is the product that I am using it's rust-oleum frosted glass paint and uh, basically you just spray it on very lightly and uh, it kind of looks almost wet when you spray it on so it doesn't exactly look frosted right away but that's okay in about uh, 10 minutes or so it does set so you don't want to let it set you need to take that exacto knife peel up a corner and start peeling off the letters as soon as possible uh, it will be easier to do it this way and I found the exacto knife was a great way to do that and as you can see it's kind of set there so this is kind of what it looks like but um, I did end up going back and trying to do a second coat on a particular area just to cover up a few spots that I had but that doesn't look the same and it was a big problem however I did find out that you can actually remove this once you've let it set so I made a bit of a mistake but you can actually just dampen things and scratch it off so proved to be a problem. I'm not happy. So I had gone back thinking that would be a clean line with the tape there, but it wasn't. So to fix it, I took the uh, knife there and kind of scratched up the edges to make it all the same. And I was happy with it. video a like if you liked it. I am thrilled with how it turned out. I know it's a little bit of a cheeky saying, but I think it looks great in my bathroom. You can do obviously any saying that you want. This will work on glass, it will work on mirrors, and it was affordable and easy to do. Stickers were just from the dollar store, and like I said, it was a thrifted mirror as well. So uh, the paint is the most expensive part of this DIY. Good thing is, is I have lots left to do future DIYs, which I do have a few ideas in mind. And I actually really liked working with this product. It seemed to uh, do exactly what I wanted it to. A uh, few things to remember, uh, try to avoid any dripping of the paint. I had a few spots on my mirror and they don't really go away once it dries. So I tried to cover it up with an extra coat on a certain area. That makes the whole thing look different. You gotta do it all in one coat. And if you do more coats, it's going to stay on. Better. Uh, I only did the one coat just because I needed to peel off the stickers and I was worried if I did multiple coats and allowed it to dry, they wouldn't come off very easily. So all around, great product. Looking forward to doing some more DIYs with this in the future. Now, uh, don't forget to subscribe. You can follow me also on Instagram and on Twitter. If you ever want to share a DIY that you've tried with me, please tag me in those photos. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm really going to put a big effort this year towards updating my Instagram story stories a whole lot more. Uh, some of that's going to be personal stuff, if you're wondering what I'm doing. Also, a lot of DIY things, so you can kind of see the process as it's happening before the video comes out. So don't forget to follow me at Janelle Steeper on my Instagram account. Subscribe, I will be back next Wednesday with a new video. Cheers!